Welcome to our Christmas Day worship. Wherever you are and whoever you are with, whether you have company or whether just the company of the Lord, we hope and pray you are safe and well and also that you feel a warm embrace of our loving Lord Jesus whose birthday we celebrate this day. We're thankful to Patricia Mullen, local preacher and member at Westborough for offering our prayers today. We have a message from our Superintendent Graham and from one of our supernumerary colleagues, the Reverend Ray Curtis. Happy birthday, Jesus. We step into Christmas Day with faith in the light of Christ, remembering that in the beginning the light of the world was with God, and by the tender mercy and grace of God, the light was sent into the world in the human form of God's only Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour, so that those who are in darkness may seek the light and be led by faith to walk the way of the cross towards hope, love, joy and peace. We light the Christ candle to celebrate the kingdom of God coming amongst us as the light looked down and believe that hope 
offered through unconditional and eternal love, would spread joy into our world hungering far and wide for peace. Come Lord Jesus, come. Fill our hearts with hope, love, joy and peace. Amen. Let us pray. Wonderful Lord and God, we come to you in awe and wonder to worship you. We think of all you created, space, mountains, valleys, hills, little tiny insects, and human beings and we thank you Lord for your wonderful love to us as we think of this special time of year when we are celebrating the birth of the baby Jesus we think of why he came we think of how throughout history mankind has sinned and fallen short of your grace but your grace was so wonderful that you stepped into our history became a baby who we remember at this particular time of year a baby who was worshipped and adored father we thank you but Lord, we must admit that mankind throughout the centuries has sinned. We have. We have said and done things, even this week, that we know we shouldn't have. And there were so many things we should have done, and we didn't. And just now, in the silence of our hearts, we would confess those sins to you, Lord. Father, you promised that whatever sins we confessed in your name, you would forgive us because of your love for us. And so we know our sins are forgiven and we know that we can spend the rest of this day just rejoicing and praising you for the birth of the baby Jesus who became a man and died on the cross for us. We offer these prayers in his name and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be our name, your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. But as we forgive those, as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the, for thy is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen
The birth of Jesus from Luke's Gospel. At that time, the Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When this first census took place, Quirinius was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself, each to his own town. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay in the inn. shepherds and the angel. There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields taking care of their flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid but the angel said to them don't be afraid I'm here with good news for you which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town your saviour was born. Christ the Lord. And this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, 
singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told them what the angel had said about the child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back, singing praises to God for all they had heard and seen. It had been just as the angel had told them. A very happy, blessed and peaceful Christmas to you all. This morning um, I'm sharing with you uh, a message that is from our friend and our colleague, the Reverend Ray Curtis. Emma and I were sharing communion with Ray and Christine um, just a few days ago. And when asked, Ray was very happy just to share these this thought with us for this morning and I read it on his behalf. We are very used to the still small voice of God but this morning we celebrate the loud penetrating crashing in of God. Today God doesn't politely introduce Jesus. He shouts, take note things round here are going to be very different. You can join in if you're hard enough. A few years ago I was on a bus going into Manchester that went past the Apollo Theatre which had achieved notoriety because some weeks earlier a band called Def Leppard had fused a substation with its powerful lights and amplifiers. That normally unflappable part of the city talked about it for weeks. People have sometimes asked me, what was Bethlehem like? And I've answered, very quiet because none of the things that make a noise had yet then been invited. So God shout on that first Christmas and his challenge to be hard enough stands yet. Happy Christmas to all of you. Love from Ray, Christine, Helen, 
Duncan, Annabella, Clara and Ruth. Let us now bring our prayers of intercession to the Lord. Father, we thank you that you love us and you love us so much. You listen to our prayers and you answer them, perhaps not in the way we want straight away, but we know you answer them. And at the moment we think of the world and the pandemic of COVID-19. We now know that there are 89 countries who have this virus. And we think of the people in the poorer countries who won't have got vaccinations and the pandemic will be running rife. Father, we pray for them. We pray for refugees. We think of the people of Afghanistan and those that are trying to cross the channel. We think of refugees around the world in camps. Father, the Lord Jesus was a refugee when Mary and Joseph and Jesus had to flee for safety to Egypt a foreign land with a foreign tongue. So you know what it's like, Lord. We think of people who are affected by natural terrors. We think of America with the tornadoes and all those people will be still homeless, living where 
people are caring for them because their homes have been flattened. We think of people in the Philippines where the typhoon has taken place. And Father, we pray for all those who are mourning, who are sad, because this time last year, a special one to them was by their side and is not there now. We pray you will put your arms round them and comfort them. We think of all those, Lord, who are in hospital and they don't want to be there, particularly at this time of year. But you're only a prayer away. And may they remember that, Lord. And we think of all those whom we know and love who are in care homes and nursing homes. And perhaps this is the very first year that they've been out of their own home. And they'll be thinking back. Again, Lord, you're the same Lord who loved them and joined in all the festivities of former years. And we know that you will be there with them this year. And we pray for all the staff in hospitals and care homes and nursing homes who were giving up their Christmas day to nurse and care and tend people who are sick, dying. Father, we thank you for people who are willing to care. You yourself were cared for as a tiny baby. And you know what it's like. And so, Father, we ask that you will hear all these prayers and answer them as best fit and in your will. For we ask them in the precious name of that baby who became our Lord and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.